Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV. I hope you've had a good Christmas. If you're watching this on the day of release, it's the 26th of December, Boxing Day. And I hope you managed to get some time to do what it is you want to do during the mayhem that Christmas can sometimes, sometimes be. I also hope you enjoyed our Christmas show uh, that was last week. It was a bit of fun. It was all Matt's idea. And I think the purpose of it really was to introduce you to everybody that works here, or most of the people that work here so you can put a face to the name that's on the bottom of the packing slip that's on the bottom of the email that you see on live chat or that you speak to on the phone so everybody enjoyed doing it it was a bit of christmas silliness and i hope it brought a little bit of christmas cheer to you now i do want to say a big thank you to a gentleman called steve marsh from the balloon experience steve i was just blown away i can't really say anything else other than that um, Steve wrote us a poem here at Balloon Market and it was a jolly Christmas poem and we read it out and Megan read it out in the office and everybody was blown away, read it out in the warehouse, everybody was blown away. Just, I'm humbled by the time that you took to just write that poem for us here. Um, it didn't deserve just being on BMTV so we actually did its own little show, a BMTV Extra that we put out a couple of days ago. Um, not read by me, but read by Justin, who was volunteered to do it, and he did a very good job. If you've not seen that, we'll put the link down at the bottom of this show. Right now, Christmas is finished, so regulars of BMTV and a Balloon Market would know that we discount all the Christmas stock now, So, and we do that at the end of all the seasons. So as soon as the season is finished, we discount it normally by around 20% and it just means you can grab yourself a bargain for next year. The stuff that is popular normally goes quite quickly as soon as we discount it. We do still have some elves left, so if you were one of those people that was very, very busy with elves this year, then you might want to grab yourself a bargain, get some elves ready for next year, put them in a box, put them in the garage, put them in the loft. Just do not forget that you bought them and go out and buy them again next year. So yeah, really good opportunity. Right, the last couple of years I have talked about doing something that I'm going to talk about again now and it is doing an end of year review. As business owners, as busy people, sometimes you're growing your business, you're running your business, if you're part-time in your business and you've got a job or you've got kids, life is just hectic and you sometimes you just got your head down, you're just doing what you do and you forget to look back at where you were a year ago. So uh, an annual review, an end of year review, is something that I like to, to do myself and see exactly where we are. And it's something I suggest that, that everybody does. Now you can measure this however you want to measure it. So it could be sales. So if your sales increase to the pound notes, <laughs> pound notes, do you remember pound notes? Pound notes in the till um, might be your measure. The number of bookings that you've had, we had somebody come on training this year that had 250 bookings for the year. Um, did you have that many? Is that how many you wanted? Did, you have, did he have 100 last year and it went up to 250 this year? In which case, that would have been quite an achievement. However you want to measure it, have, have you taken on more people? Have you taken on your first person? Have you moved from your home to, to a commercial unit, to a shop? What have you done? Whatever it is that's important to you, what have you done? And if you look at that and you realize, actually, I've done all right, that's a really good thing. And the, the, the reason I like to do this is I'm a big fan of positivity, as I've talked about before. And if you focus on the positive, I believe you get positive things in your life. If you focus on the negative, you get negative things in your life. And it's for all aspects of your life, who you hang out with, what Facebook groups you're in, um, what you do at the weekend, whatever it is, and how you work, what your customers are like. If it's, if it's mainly positive, you will feel positive about your life. If it's mainly negative, you'll probably feel a little bit more negative about your life. So that's the reason I suggest that you do that because most people, if you're putting what you need to put into your business to make it a success, you will see progress. If it's not quite what you want it to be, then it gives you a really good opportunity to look at why it's not like that and then change that for the following year. So it's something I really like to do and it's something I'm going to come back and do again in a second. However, first of all, it's not the end of just the year. It's the end of the decade. Yes, we're going into the 2020s, which blows my mind somewhat. Um, it's the future. You know, you look back at all the old sci-fi films and stuff, and it's the future. We're in the future right now. And I thought it would be fun to look at what exists now 
that didn't exist 10 years ago. And there's a point behind this. I've been watching Downton Abbey recently. I never thought I'd enjoy it. I always thought, oh, period drama, yawn. And I've been watching it. And there's, it's got one of the themes in it is, is progress and how the world changes. So there was pre-war Downton Abbey. Then there was the First World War. And then there was modernization in the, in the 1920s. And the world was changing. People's attitudes were changing, be it women at work, be it getting rid of servants and doing some stuff yourself for the big house, whatever it was. Uh, but it was all about change. Well, as humans, I think we, we, we resist change naturally. Um, we can get used to change and they actually really enjoy change, but naturally we resist change. And I think this demonstrates, Danton Abbey demonstrated that you had to move with the world. And I think it's something you have to do in business as well. And to demonstrate that most of you out there would have actually done this if you realized it or not, particularly if you've been in business for more than 10 years, these are some of the things that exist now that did not exist 10 years ago. First of all, Instagram. How many of you use Instagram for your business? If you're a balloon decorator, you probably do. If you've been a balloon decorator for more than 10 years, you didn't, but now you do. Pinterest, even if you don't use it yourself, how many of your customers have come into you and said, can you do that for me and shown you a picture from Pinterest? You wouldn't have been able to do that 10 years ago. Tinder, I'm not sure if anybody is, is on Tinder or has met their, their future partner on Tinder, but Tinder did not exist 10 years ago. iPads didn't exist 10 years ago. It feels like iPads have been around forever. But I'm sure some of you out there use iPads to run your business on, do your social media, send your emails, do your accounts, or even part of running your business might be done on the iPad. Siri, iPhones existed, but you couldn't talk to, to, to the iPhones. You, Siri didn't, wasn't there. You couldn't talk to her. Who was it I was, oh, I was talking to? We've got to Laura started with us yesterday, and she refers to Siri as she. So um, Siri, Siri has a gender. Um, FaceTime didn't exist. FaceTime for me is the ultimate representation of the sci-fi future being here now. Just being able to talk to somebody and see them. That's amazing. Didn't exist 10 years ago. Uber, you used to have to call a taxi. Now Uber exists, you just do it on your phone. Snapchat didn't exist. Amazon Echo, you couldn't say, Alexa, do something. We've not got an Amazon Echo, but um, I know a lot of people out there have, and the numbers are growing, including Matt. How many have you got? Two. Matt's got two Amazon Echoes. Um, balloon Market didn't exist. 2011 Balloon Market. Uh, we, we were aiming to, to get it live in 2010. It was 2011. So 10 years ago, Balloon Market didn't exist, and BMTV has only been around for five years. And of course, TikTok. Now, TikTok. I said, of course, but I'm sure a lot of you out there are thinking, what is TikTok? That's a reaction I get quite a lot when I talk about it. In my mind, I believe that TikTok is going to be the next social platform that we're all using. It has been around for a few years. It's, it's a Chinese company that owns it. And 2016 merged with an app called Musical.ly. And that was an app where you would um, lip sync. So you'd play a song, lip sync to it, play a song on the app, lip sync to it, and then you'd post it out there for everybody to see. And anyway, TikTok is effectively that, but it's grown and become something else. And I describe it as a cross between Vine, um, which was six second videos, and it was a lot of people being silly, playing pranks, tricks, and just a bit of fun. Uh, and Instagram stories. So Instagram stories, those of you that, that use them would be very familiar with them, but you can put stickers and little emojis and stuff like that on there, but it's just video on TikTok. So I say it's a cross between those two things. From a usability point of view, it's probably more like Instagram stories. And I think this is gonna become bigger. At the moment, as I say, it's only videos up to one minute. And we've I've been observing it for about six months now. And it's getting more popular, starting to see celebrities go on there. And that's just in the last eight weeks or so, celebrities are starting to go on there. I'm sure there's been some celebrities on there for, for longer, but just really starting to see some mainstream celebrities going on there. And of course it, it was targeted, it was targeting teenagers to start with. And like all sort of social media apps, they age up. So now you're starting to see 30 year olds, 40 year olds, 50 year olds, and it's, it's gonna happen more and more. So I think a year from now, 
people are going to be in our industry are going to start to be on TikTok. Two years from now, a lot more people are going to be on TikTok. But the reason I'm telling you about it is I think there's a really good opportunity here because if you type balloons in to TikTok, there's not that many people that type balloons and then type profile, click on profiles, I think it is. There's not that many people that do balloons on TikTok. However, there is one guy and he comes up top if you type in balloons. I'm not sure where he is in the world, but it's Balloons Ahmed. If you're watching this, hello. Um, your work is amazing. And he's got about 650 videos already. So he's been on it for a while. And he videos himself creating his his masterpieces. Uses a lot of Qualitex Chrome by the looks of it, but really, really good. And I don't know, I honestly don't know how that's affected his business, but I think, I think it's going to be the way forward. And if they were to start doing pictures, for instance, well, I think Instagram would then really have a challenge on its hands. So TikTok, check it out. As I say, we have been, I've, I've been tracking it, looking at it for about six months now. I mean, you can just download it on your phone. You don't have to sign up for an account and you can just observe, you can just watch. Um, but then we created our account about five weeks ago. By the time you watch this, about five weeks ago. And we've probably got about four 40 videos on there now, 40, 50 videos by the time you watch this. And it's, it's been quite surprising. We've got more than 10,000 followers in five weeks. The two videos that have had the most views, there's a possibility that when you watch this, they've actually hit the million views mark. That's five weeks. So I think it's very different to YouTube, to Facebook, all of that. I don't know, you know, that may be good. It may be bad. I honestly have no idea. But I do know that with normally within 15 minutes of uploading a video, we've had over a thousand views. So I just think there's an opportunity for people in our industry to get out there, film your work, do something amazing. You can add all sorts of filters and effects and things like that and get it out there. And there's an added bonus talking to Jonathan from, from Grabo the other week. I think when he's talking about it being in people's consciousness, balloons just being seen in more places, the more people that see it now and the more of people in our industry that are on there, the more it's in people's consciousness. So it can only be beneficial to the industry. So that is my tip for you. Have a look at TikTok in 2020. Right now, back to our review of the year, so balloon market review of the year. There's only a few things that I, I've really focused on. The first is training. We have done our first 12 calendar months of training. We started in October in 2018, and it's been really successful. So I just want to say thank you to all the trainers that have come down and done that, and all the people that have attended the training. Um, as I've said many times, there's no better investment in your business than getting yourself trained. So. I'm really pleased with how that's gone and we are going to be doing more training in 2020. Um, the other thing is that we have added 2,616 new lines this year. So we get new lines. There's two reasons that we add lines. Manufacturers bring out new things. So like your, your Chrome 7 inch, for instance, this year, your Sempertex Reflex, uh, Anagram Orbs, um, or Marbles, for instance, wh whatever they are, we know they're going to be popular, so we get those in. But also, we're driven very much by what people tell us that they want. So I've got a list of some of the things. I asked the marketing guys to send me a list of some of the, well, the products that we've added. And uh, they sent me the full list, and there's just too many. So I'm going to read out, I've highlighted a few. So Clears, 12 inch and 18 inch by Anagram, Sempertex Reflex, Qualitex 7 inch Chrome, Grabo 64 inch numbers, Sempertex Graffiti and Bell Bell Printed Latex are some of the balloons. The non-balloon area, we're doing a lot more non-balloon related things. At some point we might have to change our name. Um, but Qualitex Compostable Party Wear is one, Living Vases, Aluminium Wire that we've seen Mark Drury use in some of his designs. Posca pens, acrylic paint, hydrangea wall panels. I've not shown you those yet. Um, banana kit, different size application tape for the Cameos. And of course, the Cameo 4. So we've had the Cameo 4 in white for a while. And now, just in the last couple of weeks, we've had it in black and we've had it in pink. I was talking to somebody earlier on and suggesting that once you have one of these, it gives you the opportunity to personalize every single balloon that you sell. And by doing that, I think you can add at least five pounds um, per sale, at least five pounds per sale for pence. 
Um, so this pays for itself pretty quick and it, it will last for years. So I think it's a great investment. We've also got some other bits and bobs. So we've got the totes. They're not tote bags, they're totes. So basically you open them up, you put that in there, close it, but it doesn't have a zip or anything. And then I just think you put it over your shoulder. Um, so we've got those there. We've got the, the accessories, the blades. We've also got the new premium blade as well. And we've got the dust cover there. We've got it in pink. I'm not too sure if it's coming in other colors, but I'm sure you'll be able to find out if you go to balloonmarket.co.uk and look at the cameo section. Actually, there's one other thing that I, uh, I'm quite proud of this year that we've done, and that is we've had some new guests on BMTV. So hopefully I can remember them. We've had Chris Adamo, we've had Natalie Saunders, we've had Rob Driscoll, and we have had Matt Lewis, Stu Davis, and is there somebody I've forgotten? Of course there is, Jonathan Grassi from Grabo. So um, yeah, we've had all of those. So, th so those three things together is, if I look at how I feel we've done this year, I'm, I'm really pleased and, and really honored that we've, we've managed to do this. So um, yeah, I think having a look at your review, reviewing your year is a really good exercise in positivity. So um, yeah, give that a go. Now, the last thing I need to do is just say thank you to some people for the, for the experience of 2019. First of all, our suppliers, we've got great suppliers. Thank you guys. We, we appreciate the communications and the relationships that we've got with, with all of you. Next is everybody that has helped on BMTV, not just the, the new guys that I've just named there, but don't forget Sue Bowler, Mark Drury, Chris Horn, um, and anybody else, that, oh, Mike Hurst from Reds, anybody else that I've forgotten, I do, I really do apologize. Um, but yeah, everybody that's contributed to BMTV, it really does mean a lot to us. So thank you so, so much. And I've got to thank the team. We've got a great team here. I know I say it every year, but every year the team does seem to get better. So. Thank you to you guys. If you do want to go and have a look at our TikTok account, just type balloon marketing and you will find out a little bit more about the team and learn a little bit and see what goes on behind the scenes here at Balloon Market. And of course, thank you to our customers. I, I recognize that you do have a choice of where you shop. So it really means a lot to me and everybody here that you choose Balloon Market. So thank you for that. And last but not least, if you're watching this, thank you viewers um, wherever you are in the world bmtv wouldn't exist unless people were watching it so thank you so much for watching it the question of the week the last question of the week for 2019 is what has been your success of the year leave your comments down below on facebook and on youtube thank you so much for watching thank you for subscribing and i look forward to seeing you all next year bye bye